بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <تصفيق> الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين أشهد <تصفيق> أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له أشهد أن نبينا محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا Brothers in Islam, this is the 49th lesson of La Arabiya to Benedict, Book 1, Part 1 of the New Version. وقفنا عند الصفحة الثامنة عشرة. We stopped at the 18th page. في أسفل الصفحة at the bottom of the page. عند اسم أنور. At the name Anwar. وأنور أيها الإخوة اسم تفضيل. Anwar is an ismu tafdilin. An ismu tafdilin is a, to a topic and it's a subject that is uh, very known in the books of grammar. So many words in the Arabic language, they are called ismu tafdilin. So uh, what is this ismu tafdil? <clears throat> um, by giving you a few examples, you will understand it even without mentioning what the word tafdilun means. For example, we have kabirun big. Akbaru, bigger. So akbaru is ismu tafdilin. Sagirun means small with a ya, sagirun. But if I want to use ismu tafdilin, I say asgaru, smaller. Sari'un is fast. And the ismu tafdilin of it is asra'u, faster. Tawilun is long, and atwalu, what is the ismu tafdil, is longer. Hasanun is good, and the ismu tafdilin is ahsanu, what is better. Um, each one of these words has actually two meanings. The ismu tafdil has two meanings, okay? So, akbaru is bigger, okay? And it can also mean biggest. Asgharu is smaller. And it can also mean smallest. Asra'u is faster. It can also be fastest. It really depends on the context. Okay. So if I say Asgharu min, it can only be one thing. Asgharu min, smaller than. Asra'u min, faster than. Okay. هذه السيارة this car أسرع is faster أسرع من faster than because من means than أسرع من تلك السيارة faster than that car خالد أطول من سعيد خالد is longer than سعيد okay. so when used with من uh, it definitely uh, means fast, uh, faster okay. or bigger because we have the den. Min means den. If we use it in a mudaf uh, situation, akbaru talibin. Look, mudaf mudaf ilayh. You know that the mudaf has one damma and the mudaf ilayh has a kasra. Uh, the added and the added two. Uh, so, for example, akbaru talibin, the biggest student. Here it means biggest and not bigger than. أصغر قلم the smallest pen أسرع سيارة the fastest car أطول عمارة the tallest or longest building okay. أحسن درس the best lesson so as you can see I just gave you these examples اسم التفضيل my brothers in Islam uh, اسم can be a name or a noun and we talk here about a noun, because in the grammar, ismun doesn't mean name, but means noun. When introducing yourself to somebody else, then ismun means name. Masmuka, what is your name? Okay. But if I'm studying grammar, I say, for example, kitabun ismun. Ah, kitabun is a noun. So it's not fi'lun, it's not a verb, and it's not harfun, it's not a letter. Okay. Ismu tafdilin. It has a very complicated English uh, meaning. Uh, th this term, ismu tafdilin, as you will see now, it means in English, and 
many of you who haven't really studied English a lot, they will not understand this, I think, uh, like myself. Comparative and superlative adjective. Okay. وَتَفْضِيلٌ The word تَفْضِيلٌ تَعْنِي لُغَةً It means linguistically preference or preferring or favoring. Okay. It means preference or preferring or favoring. So for example, تَفْضِيلُ النَّبِيِّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ عَلَى الصَّحَابِ uh, The preference of the Prophet وسلم, over the Sahabi because they're not the same. No Sahabi come close to the Prophet وسلم, when it comes to the favoring and the preference. So, وَتَفْضِيلُ الصَّحَابِيِّ and the preference of the Sahabi, the companion عَلَى التَّابِعِيِّ over the Tabi'i and the Tabi'een they are the generation after the companions they are the children of the companions they are those who have seen the companions yeah? because if they have seen the Prophet وسلم, and they believed in him they are a companion they are not the Tabi'i okay? so we have a Sahabi then we have a Tabi'i who is the generation after the Tabi'een of the Muslims who have met the companions and then we have Atba'u uh, tabi'in Those who have met the tabi'in Anyway So the preference of the companion Over the tabi'i Because they are not equal The, the, the companion The tabi'i will not come close to him Even the best tabi'i Cannot come close to somebody Who has seen the Prophet ﷺ with his own eyes And lived with the Prophet ﷺ And believed in him The sahabi They, they are uh, the Sahaba, they are uh, uh, on a level that cannot be reached by anyone after them, whatever he does. Okay? Like the Prophet ﷺ uh, said, لا تسب أصحابي Don't insult my companions. فلو أن أحدكم أنفق مد أحد ذهبا ما بلغ I forgot, uh, subhanAllah, the meaning of the hadith. I will come later back to that, inshallah. Anyway. نعم ده حديث صحيح البخاري لا تسبوا أصحابي Don't insult my companions فلو أن أحدكم أنفق مثل أحد ذهبا uh, Because indeed approximately meaning of the hadith uh, Because if one of you will give charity like the mountain of Uhud in gold He will not reach the mud of أحدهم okay? He will not uh, yani, uh, a mood is like a, a hand, a full hand of, 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 of charity. So if, if I uh, have the mountain of Uhud, what's a, a huge mountain full of gold, made out of gold, and I give it a sadaqah, it will not be equal to if a companion would give just a handful of rice or uh, flower as a sadaqah so we cannot reach never their uh, level that's what I actually want to say but that is uh, another topic so when it comes to the word ismu tafdilin my brothers in Islam ismu tafdilin I prefer not to use this uh, 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 complicated English term I would just say ismu tafdilin is a, a, a noun of preference okay big bigger small smaller good better okay 
جميل بيوتيفول اجمل مور بيوتيفول ات كان اولسو بي موست بيوتيفول اجمل بيت ان ذا موست بيوتيفول هاوس اني واي يو كان سي اي ثينك كوايت كليرلي ذات ذير از ا باترن يو سي ذير از ا باترن ا سيرتن باترن ذي هاف اول ذا سيم باترن ذيس باترن از افعل It's like a standard pattern. Afalu. You can put it below or on top of each one of these, and it will have the same pattern as afalu. Afalu akbaru. Afalu asgaru. Afalu means literally I do, but that's something else now. So anwaru has now two meanings. If you understood what I have said now, you understand that anwaru has two meanings. وكلمة أنوارو، the word أنوارو، and all these اسم تفضيل they are ممنوع من الصرف because they are less similar to a verb like أذهب I go، أقرأ I read. أنوارو لها علاقة the word أنوار has a relation with the word بكلمة نورون. نورون means light or brightness. okay so there is definitely a relationship between these two words. They are linked to each other, Noron and Anwaru. So, Amma Anwaru, as for the word Anwar, وَهُوَ الْإِسْمُ الَّذِي مَعَنَا الْآنَا And that is the noun that is with us now. فَلَهُ مَعْنَا يَعْنِي It has two meanings. So, it means the most bright, the most enlightened well معنى الثاني is brighter if I've said if I've, uh, like I've said when you use it when you couple it with the, the word min تقول you say هذا المصباح for example you say هذا المصباح this lamp the plural of مصباح without a it's مصباح is مصابيح ممنوع من الصرف. So you say going back هذا المصباح this lamp أنور من ذلك المصباح is brighter than من is than that lamp ذلك المصباح. So this is what I wanted to share with you, my brothers, about أنور. And then we have the name سعيد and many of us they know a سعيد either in the family. Or maybe a friend whose name is Saeed. Saeed un bi dhamma taini has two dhamma, and I actually don't have to mention it because nouns, male names, have normally two dhamma. Okay, there are few names that have one dhamma, and the vast majority have two dhamma of the male names. And almost all female names have two dhamma, have one dhamma, except for very few like Hindun, because it's with three letters and a sukun in the middle. Anyway. سعيد means happy. How do you say you are happy? أنت سعيد. And to a woman, أنت سعيدة. وجمع سعيد جمع سعيد the plural of سعيد is what سعداء. سعداء. For example. You lot are happy. Antum suadau, or they masculine lot are happy. They are happy. Hum suadau. Wal muannathu and the feminine form, as I have mentioned a bit before, the single feminine form is saidatun. Anti saidatun. I've mentioned actually here both. I've mentioned here two nouns. The bottom one with two dhamma is just happy, anti saidatun. But when I call a woman, uh, when I say the name of a woman, then you have to drop one of the two dhammas, and this is uh, obvious and this is very uh, logical, and I don't think you have any problem uh, in that because I've mentioned female names have one dhamma. So, 
If I say anti Saida to with one Dhamma, then I mean her name. You are Saida to, meaning name, just like Aisha to and Hafsa to, anti Saida to. But when I want to say you feminine, you are happy, then I have to switch to to Dhamma because it's not a name of a woman anymore. Anti Saida to. Okay. Well, Jamu Saida to. Jamu, the plural form of happy, Saida to. So you lot feminine are happy and tunna with a sh uh, shadda on the noon without a stick and tunna sa'idatun you lot feminine are happy or they feminine they lot are happy hunna sa'idatun with a noon with a shadda without alif wa huwa muradifun li and this word sa'idun is similar to because there's another noun in the arabic language with the same meaning happy and that is this word, masrurun. Masrurun is maybe as much as famous as Sa'idun. Okay, they're both uh, widely used. They're both widely used in the Arabic world. Anta masrurun, you are happy. Huwa masrurun, I am ana masrurun. Uh, uh, for a woman, you don't say masrurun, but anti masruratun with the ta'al marbota. Jam'u masrur. What's the plural of masrur? Masruruna. Hum, they lot. Hum masruruna. Antum, you lot. Antum masruruna. Wa masruratun lil muannathi. For the feminine, it's masruratun. Wal jam'u masruratun. Bit by bit, you understand now that when you see the alif open ta, you straight away think about plural feminine. Okay? When you see wow noon in the plural form, you think about a masculine plural. Wow noon, muslimuna, mu'minuna, kafiruna, mudarrisuna, muhandisuna. Bit by bit, you will see that Arabic is a little bit like maths. There's certain patterns, okay? It's very, it's like fixed, okay? Masruratun, mudarrisatun. Kafiratun, Mu'minatun, Muslimatun. Wa Sa'idun lahu ma'nayani. Sa'id has two meanings. Al-alamu, the proper noun, what is the name of a person. Wa Sifatu and the, uh, the, 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 the attribute. Okay, Sifatu. A Sifatu attribute, meaning happiness. You are happy. Anta Masroorun. As for happiness, it means sa'adatun, and that's something we will not do at the moment. That's happiness. As for happy, it's sa'idun. Wa sa'idun ismun arabiyun, it's an Arabic name, uh, like Sa'id ibn Zaydin, Sa'id, the son of Zayd, wa huwa ahadu al-mubashirina, and he's one of the al-mubashirina bil jannati, he's one of the companions, he's one, he's one of those who have been given the Bishara, the glad tidings with the paradise. So, Al-Mubashiru, uh, it's plus Mubashiruna, but here it's Mubashirina, because of a grammatical situation, they are being given the glad tidings of paradise. He's from the Sahabati, from the companions, sino from Sahabiyun. عن عبد الرحمن ابن عوف on the authority of عبد الرحمن ابن عوف the son of عوف رضي الله عنه uh, may Allah be pleased with him قال he said قال رسول الله uh, the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said أبو بكر in this very famous hadith أبو بكر في الجنة أبو بكر is in the paradise عمر في الجنة عثمان في الجنة وعلي في الجنة وطلحة في الجنة والزبير في الجنة وعبد الرحمن بن عوف وعبد الرحمن بن عوف في الجنة وسعد في الجنة وسعيد في الجنة وأبو عبيدة بن الجراح في الجنة This hadith, this great hadith is narrated by Imam al-Tirmidhi رقم الحديث the number of the hadith ثلاثة آلاف وسبعمائة وسبعة وأربعون three thousand seven hundred and forty seven 
وصححه الألباني classified as authentic by الألباني سعد in the hadith in this great hadith is سعد بن أبي وقاص and سعيد in this hadith what the one who is also been given the glad tidings of paradise by the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم سعيد here is سعيد بن زيد سعيد بن زيد and سعيد سعيد here has one ضمة because of ابن uh, this is something you will study later on. So you say Sa'idun, uh, but when it's Sa'id, the son of Fulan, you drop one of the Dhammas of Sa'id, but this is something what is advanced Arabic. Radiallahu anil jami'i, may Allah be pleased with all. As-Safhatu al-Taliyatu, the next page, As-Safhatu al-Tasi'ata Asharata, the 19th page. التدريب الخامس تبادل السؤال والجواب مع زملائك exchange the question and the answer with your classmates this is the plural زملاء is classmates or colleagues yeah, with one ضمة and it's the plural of زميل classmate تبادل exchange yeah, the question and answer with your classmates so then we have uh, we have section A, uh, so sorry, of section Alif, and then uh, in the middle of Ba, and then Jim. You have three sections. So we start with Alif. We find a meme there. Meme is for Mu'allimun. Uh, mu'allimun, teacher. And Mu'allimun, it's uh, uh, related, or it comes from the word. Uh, Allama, he taught. Allama, yu'allimu. It comes from Allama, he taught. Yu'allimu, he's teaching. Allim, teach. Ta'liman, teaching. Fahuwa mu'allimun, so he is a teacher. Wal maf'ul, the ism maf'ul is mu'allamun. That's what has been taught. Ismi Muhammadun. Masmuka. My name is Muhammad. What's your name? So this exercise uh, is something you're going to do with your classmate, inshallah. And before you do it, inshallah, I want you to bear with me until I finish the bar in the gym section, and then you do it with your classmate, or you do it completely alone, inshallah. أنا من تركيا. I'm from Turkey. من أين أنت? From where are you? So here everybody is going to mention the name he's from, and then he asks his classmate where he's from. And Jim is about the nationality. أنا تركي. I'm Turkish. ما جنسيتك? What's your nationality? So, Nam. So we have here uh, 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 Nam. Uh, to understand this, to understand this, we need to read something at the bottom. To understand this exercise, you have to read what is between the two brackets. بين القوسين between the two brackets يذكر كل طالب اسمه واسم بلده وجنسيته every student mentions his name and the name of his country and his nationality aha now i understand what i have to do every student mentions his name and the name of his country and his nationality and then the word yadkuru is he mentions a present tense verb yadkuru he mentions
من الفعل from the verb ذكر he mentioned past tense ذكر يذكر he's mentioning or he mentions present أذكر mention ذكرا mentioning the مصدر فهو ذاكر so he's the mentioner uh, the one who's mentioning and just for the benefit extra benefit ذاكرة is the she form uh, is the feminine form هي ذاكرة uh, she's the mentioner or she's, she's the one that mentions but the word ذاكرة is also used for the memory uh, the, the, the memory that, uh, that is in the, in the body uh, that you memorize with uh, you have لديك ذاكرة قوية you have a strong memory also the memory in the laptop uh, or in the PC, uh, the, 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 the computer, uh, uh, we will do inshallah mahmoolun is laptop and uh, hasubun is a normal desktop. So the memory inside, fil hasubi dhakiratun kabiratun. In the desktop, uh, there is a big memory, meaning a lot of gigabytes. So dhakiratun is a word that is very common in these days. It means the memory that you memorize with uh, in the mind and it also means the memory that you find in the uh, from mobile phone up to laptop and desktop. إذن ذاكرة فهو ذاكر والمفعول مذكور مذكور means mentioned. Okay. هذا الحديث this حديث مذكور is mentioned في صحيح البخاري. It's mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari. Uh, this verb that I just mentioned, its uh, derivements, it has two meanings. It has two meanings. المعنى الثاني والمعنى الثاني and the second meaning of ذكرا وهو الأهم and that's the most important meaning of the two. ذكرا خالد الله أو خالد ذكر الله خالد he remembered Allah so ذكر he remembered and it's used uh, uh, for a, a dhikr eh? saying subhanallah alhamdulillah la ilaha illallah Allah akbar so all dhikr so خالد ذكر الله خالد uh, he remembered Allah يذكر الله this is the present tense يذكر Uri you, you, you advise somebody, Udkurillaha, remember Allah. And then the Masdar, Dikrun or Dikran. And I just gave you a phrase, Dikrullahi, the remembrance of Allah. Fahuwa Dakirun, the one who remembers Allah. Uh, uh, so in this context, uh, uh, it means uh, Nam. وَالذَّاكِرِينَ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا وَالذَّاكِرَاتِ You will find this, insha'Allah. Uh, نعم, فَهُوَ ذَاكِرٌ وَاسْمُنُ مَفْعُولٌ مَذْكُورٌ انظر سورة الأحزاب Go back to سورة الأحزاب 35 نعم خمس uh, وثلاثون 35 You will find uh, an ayah what is related to that. وعن أبي موسى وعن أبي موسى رضي الله عنه and on the authority of Abu Musa and I think it's al Ashari Abu Musa al Ashari رضي الله عنه may Allah be pleased with him the great companion قال he said قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said مثل الذي يذكر ربه والذي لا يذكر ربه مثل الحي والميت رواه البخاري نعم رواه البخاري so the example of the one who remembers his lord and the one who does not remember his lord is like the living and the dead in the hadith like I said in Sahih al-Bukhari رقم الحديث the number of the hadith ستة آلاف وأربعمائة وسبعة يعني 6407 and I will end with this great hadith and until the next lesson inshallah subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik shadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh